I um, I thought I'd give something back to the ThinkPad community. It's been a while since I've made a ThinkPad video and I've had a lot of people subscribing to my channel and enjoying my videos uh, that I made about the X201 and the X230. And so I recently discovered a really good use for my X230 as well as it being my boat computer, which it's really good for because it's such a robust machine and um, it's got the backlit keyboard and everything. Its only problem is its touchpad is no good. And so it's not just this one, it's all of the X230s, I believe. And so um, I thought, well, how can I use this? And I did have a wireless mouse lying around the house that I haven't used wasn't being used because I don't really like using a mouse it kind of you get RSI from a mouse I used a mouse for years in software development so as soon as I start messing with the mouse it turns into problems for me but it's okay for occasional use and you can see that I sit here this is my main computer here and this is my channel and I can watch a video here You know, this is fine. I can see what I'm doing here, and uh, most of my viewing is here. But if you know, I do a lot of work here. I sit in this chair. I, I have this position all the time, and I've got this other big screen over here, which I use to watch DVDs on. If I want to sit down, just watch a movie, and relax. And I tried um, connecting this up to the big screen over there. And whilst you can do this. There's some, this is a, a W500 and it's not as good, the system that, um, the display system on this is an early version of the HDMI display port interface and so it's not that great for that. I do have a, an adapter for it but the X230, I'll get it, the X230. This is the X230. Now, the X230, as I said, is a very robust machine. It's, it doesn't have the finesse of the case of the other older machines, but it is robust. And, okay, so what I've got is I've got the operating system running off a USB stick here, and I've got the mouse running off the USB, other USB port here. And, you can because you've because um, you can actually use a mouse here um, and because you can use a mouse you can use a mouse at a distance and so we can put the computer up there where all the wires are and we can use the mouse to control it so if I want to watch a movie and have it on the big surround sound system that, um, Yeah, so that's the other system. The other part of the system, which I probably should tell you about, is what I do is I recycle, as well as recycling computers, I recycle old hi-fi equipment. And so I've got two or three stereo amplifiers hooked up to a device which converts the audio from HDMI into five-channel stereo, five-channel surround sound, if you like. And so I've got that set up over there, and if I plug into my DVD player, that's where I play CDs and DVDs and all that sort of stuff. But it can do internet, but it's just no good. Um, it's just no good doing internet, you know, and it's just too primitive. And so what I really want is a system where I can do, I can just watch the YouTube videos directly on the big screen, sitting in my chair, relaxing, not kind of like using it for typing and all that stuff, just click on the movie, sit down and, and watch a movie for an hour and a half. And so what I did was I got this, this is the thing about the X230 that has over the other older machines, is it has this um, HDMI interface here. Okay, so you can plug this in. Now what I do is I just take it over here and, well it lives here permanently now while it's not on the boat. 
and I'll just plug the power in <clears throat> and there's a HDMI cable here that plugs into the back of my DVD player and I just plug that into there and you should see I don't know if I could turn this on you should see it come onto the big screen now I don't know if you can see that okay and now we can you see the, the I've got it set so that because I'm Linux it's, you can control this I've got it set so it turns its, its little screen off and now we're on uh, on the computer here so if we go and click on the internet one of the things about doing this kind of thing it's got to be easy you just got to be able to go up there change the, the cable around quickly and without having to walk behind anything and muck around and just be able to do this and so now if I play the video on there hang on I've got to turn on uh, two the two hi-fi amplifiers and now Now there is one other thing that you've got to do, you don't normally have to do this, but I rebooted the machine and if you reboot the machine then you have to go into sound settings and you've got to pick the HDMI display port Die auf Jena von Rücken den Amerikaner wissen also, dass sie nicht viel Zeit haben werden, ihre Interessen dort durchzusetzen. Das tut nicht gut, dass ich meine Pants habe. Ich brauche eine Mausmatte. Die amerikanischen Truppen, aufgerüttet worden, mit Panzern und Infanterieverbänden, die Mühe zahlen. Okay. Now I can shut this, take a break from my computing, and I can watch on the big screen. And so it's a very good use mm. for the X230. Well, it was a very bitter cup. That... Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you. So you need the Linux running on your <clears throat> X230, and you need the little adapter. And you need a wireless mouse, which probably a lot of you have already got. And you can just sit at your chair and control the computer that way. So if you bought an X230 by accident like I did, and you, you ended up buying an X201 because of the nice um, trackpad, you can still use your X230 with something useful like this. And it's the only one that's got this HDMI, I think, in these earlier models. It allows you to plug directly in like that. Okay, I hope this gives you a few ideas as to what you can do with old computers, recycle them and use them in your audio configuration. Now you can, oh, there is one other thing is this. Um, you need to set up Linux sound system um, so that it's running in 24-bit 96 kilohertz you know high quality audio and you have to set up the HDMI um, the, if you want to um, if you want what do you call it, surround sound you have to set up I've got, I've got all mine set up with surround sound I don't actually use it but I did I did want to set that when I've set up my Linux Jade operating system I did actually want it to do surround sound so I did that it doesn't have a DVD player in this particular 
computer, but you can plug one in through the USB if you want. And if you did plug a DVD player in, you could actually play DVDs in surround sound on the computer through the system, but you do have to configure the audio and it's not that easy. Okay, You'd have to do some research on the internet how to do that. I've forgotten how to do that because I did it on my operating system. It's built in there now. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, is there anything else I can tell you? That's it. Okay, enjoy. <clears throat>